June is here, and July is soon to come, which means that it's time to start looking ahead to winter once again. This is an early look at what the winter of 2026 may bring. Last winter ended up being an inso neutral winter, despite the increased chances of seeing a La Nina. This neutral pattern continued throughout all of spring and is expected to continue over this summer as well. As we continue through summer and into fall, we will continue to inch closer to the zero mark on the SST anomaly, which will still indicate a neutral pattern. As we approach winter, however, there is a chance that we could dip back into a La Nina. As shown, the chances of a neutral or La Nina year are both nearly 50% as we get into the November-December-January timeframe. Is it unknown as of now which one we will be left with for this upcoming winter, but that will likely be sorted out over the coming months. For now, it is best to assume that a neutral pattern will be in place, as that is what the trends have stronger confidence in at this current time. These are the temperature anomalies for December through February of all the ENSO neutral years, and it shows the strong correlation between neutral years and significantly colder United States winters. Since there are no pattern flows to assist the atmosphere, the polar vortex generally makes its presence very clear, putting the north-central Ohio Valley and northeast in the target zone for intense cold outbreaks. This next one is the same thing, but for January through March, and it tells the same story. In fact, the cold anomaly is even stronger than it is for December through February, which is important considering that January through March is considered the heart of winter. Now these are the precipitation anomalies for December through February, and this one is a little harder to digest. Generally, during a neutral pattern, the east coast and mountainous regions of the northwest tend to see above average precipitation, while the south central, the plains, and the west coast regions tend to see much below average precipitation. There are some changes when going into the January through March timeframe. However, the above average precipitation is confined to the southeast, mid-Atlantic, and a small area of the mountainous west coast, while everywhere else below average or near average. This trend makes sense, as more intense cold air shown in the temperature anomalies should result in drier conditions because the high pressure pushes away any storm systems. Although I do not believe that there will be a La Nina this winter, these are the temperature and precipitation anomalies for weak La Nina years. I am not going to go in detail for what the maps show, but I will say that it is very similar to what the neutral anomalies look like. This is completely normal, as the difference between a neutral pattern and a weak La Nina can be so small that the changes are almost unnoticeable. If we do end up with a La Nina this year, it will be a weak one, and it will have similar effects to that of a neutral pattern. Now, having looked through all this information, there are some early expectations as to how the winter season will play out. There will likely be frequent and intense Arctic air outbreaks across the North Central and possibly Northeast regions. It has been a common trend over all of the ENSO neutral years, and this year will likely be no different if we end up in a neutral pattern. It is also expected that the southeast and mid-Atlantic regions will likely see above-average precipitation, while the west coast will likely see below-average precipitation. Furthermore, resulting from the above-average precipitation chances across the southeast and mid-Atlantic, the chances of seeing a significant snowstorm are higher across the northern areas of these regions. This is a result of the cold air coupled with frequent storm activity, which will always heighten the snowstorm chance when combined. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and want more winter updates. Get ready for winter and stay safe.